As a long-term football manager favourite save, Wimbledon have both a long and a very troubled history. Most of their fame comes from a spell in the late 80s and early 90s, which included an FA Cup final and regular Premier League football. You can't understand why they're so popular on a football manager without knowing a bit about their history, so I'll keep it as quick as possible, but I need to talk about that first. They had an almost unhinged cast of characters in a squad that was known as the Crazy Gang. Hard men like Vinnie Jones, Laurie Sanchez bossing the midfield and Dave Besson in goal, the team had some of the biggest personalities in the Premier League at the time. These good times didn't last long however. In 1996, only 8 years after they won the FA Cup and 10 years after they appeared in the Premier League for the first time, the manager of rock band U2 agreed a deal with the Wimbledon owner. For £6 million he would buy three quarters of the club, and Wimbledon would continue to play at Selhurst Park, where they'd been playing since their original ground was considered unsafe in the early 90s. The deal was simple, a 40,000 seater stadium would be built. Until then, Wimbledon would continue ground sharing with Crystal Palace. The catch, however, is that the new stadium was being built in Neilstown on the outskirts of Dublin. That's right, Wimbledon were being relocated from London all the way to Dublin. Of course, however, the deal fell through. The Dublin Dons, as they were to be known, kept falling lower and lower down the table each season. A team which had risen from non-league to the top flight and an FA Cup win in only 11 years was suddenly in a really bad situation. The FA eventually decided to allow a relocation to Milton Keynes. This had come after proposals to merge with QPR and Crystal Palace and other relocations to Heathrow, Gatwick, Basingstoke and even Cardiff had all fallen through. So that's a quick rundown of their history. They had a dramatic rise, some good success, financial problems and a fall and an eventual sad ending for one of England's most interesting football stories. However, their Phoenix club is now on League One and of course that's the one that's in FIFA. You can probably see where I'm going to go with this, but the save idea is clear. You have to try and emulate the rise that Wimbledon had in the early 1980s by getting them back to the Premier League and trying to win a second FA Cup. So let's have a quick look at how AFC Wimbledon will line up for you in Season 1 in your career mode. Well of course, as most teams in the world play at the moment, they play a 4-2-3-1 or a variation of it. They have a pretty small transfer budget, less than most League 2 teams at only £430,000, but this is to be expected given that Wimbledon are still partially fan owned. If you'll notice one thing about the team is that how young every single player in it is. The oldest starting player to start off with is 30, the second oldest is 28, and then after that you'll see 24s, 20, 21 and 22s all scattered throughout the team. Currently one of their best players in real life is Jack Rodoni who currently plays right attacking midfield and he's one of a couple of players with really high potential in the Wimbledon squad to start off with. Ayub Asal is similar playing on the centre of the attacking midfield and Luke McCormick on left attacking midfield again another really good potential player. If you can get these guys and others throughout the squad like Henry Lawrence and Aaron Presley to their potentials, you'll probably have a team that's ready to compete, honestly, mid-table in the Premier League. It's going to be quite a challenge to get them back to the championship though, let alone the top flight. With the joint second worst team in the entire league by average overall and the joint lowest budget in the entire league, you really do have a struggle. Realistically, Wimbledon have been signing lots and lots of good young players. They also have a fairly good academy, with quite a lot of League One ready players coming through every single season. That's a big part of this save. You're going to have to basically go youth only for at least the first one or two seasons until you can get that transfer budget up from having developed some of these players into the high 70s and selling them on for quite big transfers. To start off with, the player with the biggest value in your entire team is these young attacking midfield three that I mentioned earlier, but they're still only worth about £1.5 million each. So even if you do a fire sale to try and raise funds to strengthen the entire squad from these three players, you're going to end up with around £4 million, which really doesn't stretch that far even in England and even in League One. 
If you do fancy doing something more similar to a rebuild, then why not make your manager Vinnie Jones and see if you can implement the 442 crazy gang tactics that they used to use back in their heyday. The most similar sort of formation that you should be copying is probably Burnley, because they do play in a very rugged way that is kind of similar to how Wimbledon used to play back in the 90s. So get that 442 out, maybe have to sell Rodoni, Asal or McCormick because they don't really fit in that central midfielder, or retrain them to play on the wings and then you might be able to recreate them in a unique style of football and bring them back out of obscurity back to the top flight and the big leagues. I really do rate Wimbledon as a very good FIFA save so hopefully you'll give them a go and see if you can recreate their amazing rise but this time try and prevent their honestly quite tragic fall back into obscurity they even went down to about the 14th tier and fought their way back up to league one which i think is pretty incredible a uh, little side note i said they're a big football manager save and if you look at their kits you might notice they're actually sponsored by football manager so if you're into the game i mean that is only going to be a benefit for you if you do give them a go message me on discord send me screenshots on twitter post it on fifa reddit anything i love reading about these saves you do in the lower leagues of england and hopefully afc wimbledon will provide you with a fun and unique save where you try and get them back to glory Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you learned something, even if it's just a little bit about 90s English football and the relocation to Ireland that I think was actually quite close and I hadn't heard of until I started researching for this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more like this. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you very soon for another video. Thank you and goodbye.